Adam Ludwin, uh, CEO of Interstellar. Sum up your talk in three points. Interstellar is building products on the Stellar Network, point one. Point two, the Stellar Network is for moving value over the internet. Point three, stay tuned for really cool products that are coming soon from Interstellar. I keep throwing these on the ground. Like it's like a David Letterman thing. Yeah. <laughs> Why do you think financial services and payments companies need blockchain? I don't know that financial services companies need blockchain. The world needs a blockchain and cryptocurrencies so that financial services can function uh, in a way that's more efficient, more transparent, more secure. Uh, whether incumbent companies are on board with that or not uh, is up to them. But the world certainly needs the technology. I'm not sure the companies need, the incumbent uh, companies need the technology. Are there any asset classes that cannot be tokenized? What would be the most challenging asset class to tokenize? Technically, you can tokenize anything. Uh, the real question is, why tokenize something? And the answer to that is usually because you want it to be interoperable with other assets. You want to exchange one asset for another, for example, in a foreign, ex foreign exchange transaction or cross-border payment, or you want to sell one uh, stock and get cash or trade two stocks or put multiple assets into some sort of financial contract, like a smart contract. So you tokenize something to put it into uh, an ecosystem uh, where it can interact with other financial products. If you're not going to do that, you probably don't need to tokenize it. What are the learnings from your experiences with Visa, NASDAQ, and City that can be applied to Interstellar? Our, oh, I just heard my name on stage. They just said my name in front of Shaq, that's weird. Why are they talking about me to Shaq? The main thing we learned is that existing financial infrastructure uh, is really ossified. It's very hard to change. Uh, and so we will be doing less rewiring of the old and more building new products that either don't exist or are so early that we can really make a dent. But we're gonna spend less time just trying to rewire old systems. Last question, why do you think Money 2020 is valuable for the financial services ecosystem? Um, it's still basically the one and only place where all the players come together every year. Um, so if you're only gonna go to one financial services conference, you, you should come to Money 2020, everybody, okay?